Hi, this is Chris. I'm back with another tip for posing your actors in Frameforge Storyboard Studio 4. You're probably familiar with posing an actor via the Green Room's Posing tab. Just like so. But did you also know that you can pose an actor directly on set? Click to highlight them and then use this Edit Pose function. You'll see the posing wheel appear, just like so, and you'll also see this functionality on the left-hand side that mirrors what you're going to find in the Posing tab of the Green Room. In addition to that, there's this posing orb. Now if you click and mouse up on this, just like this, you're going to see this context menu appear. Here shows a list of all the pre-made poses that ship with Frameforge Storyboard Studio 4. I'm going to reset it to the base pose, and then I'm going to add something like, hmm, let's do something out of the acting one. We'll do defensive, he's very upset, and we'll do the same thing to this actress over here. There we go. And then, of course, you can just reset these to the base pose as well. Click, click up, base pose. Now, what happens if you create your own pose and you want to save it for a future project? Kind of like this guy. He's got a great smile. All you have to do is select him, go to the poses, and the store new pose. Now, I've already stored this guy, so you're going to see a message in a minute, but you can choose from the categories. I'm going to stick with general. You need to give it a name. just like so. Since he's got a great smile, I'm going to click this right here to keep the facial expressions as part of the pose. And then I'm also going to use this middle circle that's right dead center of the spine. That's going to select all the bones. I'm going to store it. Here's that warning message I mentioned earlier. I'm just going to replace it. And now when I bring out another actor, I can do the same thing. There you go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it?